Now I love me some head, but I don't love me some lion head. Yeah. 69 cent disaster. Uh, I originally gave it a zero. He gave you a, he, what'd you give it a five? Six. Six. But we decided to meet in the middle again. Uh, I can't be that big of a dick to it. I did drink, you know, a decent amount of it, but overall, what I get a four, five? I think five is what he'd said. Okay. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go. We're gonna hit the halfway point. Yeah, we're gonna go to grid number ten. Being picky. Sierra Nevada. Yep, it's their tumbler. Autumn brown ale. Well, let's see how brown that ale is. See how it compares to moose drool. I'll be surprised if it's better than moose drool. You know, being made by Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. Moose drool. That's a good beer. I got more Yeah, a little bit. Good guy, right though. As far as we know, we might not even finish it. Thick head. Doesn't smell like a brown ale to me. Not really. It's brown. It smells like a domestic. Yeah, really not a lot of. Really, it smells like a domestic. Yeah, it really is. Well, it is brown. brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. It's drinkable, for sure. Oh, yeah. Not a moose drool. Sorry, but no. It's not bad. It's like a moose drool extra light. Yeah. This was their 2012 edition. I did good on this. Yeah, it's good though. How right. old is this fucker? 2012. Really? Five and a half percent. I'm trying to find the stamps here. 2012, right on the top. There's a code. I thought all beer at least had the year. Yeah, 2012. <laughs> so this was, you know, actually two years old, and uh, it might have actually been good two years ago. Or it aged and got a little better. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. I don't know. It might have been the year they started making the tumbler. Hmm. Who knows? Purest, purest ingredients, finest quality. Autumn Brown Ale. Chicago. No, sorry. Chico, California? Mm. That's the bread. It's got a, a burnt caramel towards the end. Uh, kind of funky up front. I got a little bit of bread taste. It seems it could be kind of dry. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. fucking nice. Two bucks just landed in the glass. It's sitting on the faux head. There's fuckhead. I'm done. <laughs> also, we hear a thud thud and look down and hit it right in the glass. What would you have done if it flew in when this was in your glass? I'd dug it out. <laughs> Been like, okay, pick it up by the leg. Uh, yeah, it'd be good enough. <laughs> Shit. I didn't think it was that awesome anyway. Um, then it's an autumn brown ale. <laughs> Tired as fuck, man. <laughs> Wearing out. Been up for. Let's see. Well, 26 hours. 
You went for 25. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll turn around and let you score and brown out. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually, you know, what I had I thought was pretty good. Uh, um, I'll give it that. Eight. I gave it seven. Okay. I had to get another drink. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like I said, if this was, if this is actually two years old, then two years ago, this might have been a pretty dang good. A nine. But, uh, it's not too bad, except for the, the dryness is the only thing that throws me off from it. Yeah. The, the drill, initial flavor's not bad. The moose does like have that kind of dusty, kind of dirty flavor to it. Not dirty, like, you know, nasty, but... Dusty. The way it feels. But it's, uh, overall, I think the, the, the flavor's a little better. Any final words? Nah. Okay. <laughs> So that was a half point. Yep, that was number 10. And we're going to move on. I'm not feeling nearly as drunk as I was when we did the 16 at this point. Yeah. Because we threw, either. We threw a few out, so. Yeah. But I'll be damned if I'm going to drink shit beer. Yeah, no thank you. So let's get through. I'm going to go have an antacid because I'm getting indigestion, heartburn. And then pizza. I'm going to grab a piece of pizza. Fuck it. You only live once, right? YOLO! <laughs> YOLO!